What's up, everyone? You know what day it is today? My crystal ball tells me that today is... Oh my god! It's Mother's Day? Mm, technically, yes. So first of all, I would just like to wish all the mums out there a happy Mother's Day. And I realize that a lot of you live in different countries, and different countries have different time zones compared to Canada. So, I would just like to wish you all a happy late or early Mother's Day for that reason. Now today, I'm not going to do any acting or anything, but I'm just going to change the pace a little bit of my awkward videos. So today, I'm going to tell you a true story, childhood memories with my mom. When I was a kid growing up, my mom would give me the nickname Porky because I was a super chubby kid back then. Sure, it was a cute name and all, until the neighbors came over and they started pinching my cheek and they went like, Hey there, cute kid you have. Can I touch him? Sure, go right ahead. Coochie coochie coo! You see, I was a kid back then, so my initial reaction was, No, don't touch me. Your hand smells like ass. I would have said it smelled a bit worse, but... I was a baby, so I didn't know much of a vocabulary. So from then on, any grown-ups that went over to my house, I would picture someone like, I'm the scary crab claw man, and I'm about to pinch your cheeks. And every time my mom would step right up and say, Well, my name is Laundry Woman, and I challenge you to... <laughs> Well, maybe that was a little bit over-exaggerated. You see, my mom's take on the subject is, if kids are pinched too much, just like, they will drool uncontrollably when they sleep. Okay, let's just move on to the next topic. I'm gonna still talk about something related to pork, but in a different situation. One of the most scarring memories of my childhood was my mom taking me to one of those most crappiest daycare I ever been to. But it was also the only daycare that I went to in my whole life for that reason. For lunch they would feed you rice, rice, and fat pork. 99% fat pork. I mean just think about all the cholesterol. Don't they know that it could lead to heart disease? I wasn't complaining for the fact that the pork was fat. I was complaining for the fact that the pork tasted like rotten eggs. Oh wait, sour ass would describe it better, I think. And sometimes I just threw up by the smell of it. Hello children, here is your lunch. Thanks. <coughs> I mean, what's the point of eating when you're already losing more than you're consuming in? considering that you're not consuming in anything in the first place. And you probably guess what I did. I went to complain. Well, you know, nobody has ever dared to complain because the manager that's in charge of the daycare looked like this person right here. I mean, just take a look at this face. It's fearsome enough to just scare you away. So I went up to the manager guy and I said, the poor quality of the pork that you buy combined with your awesome cooking skills made it taste like shit. So the manager locked me up in a closet for a whole day. A whole f***ing day. That is until my mom came and rescued me at the end of the day. That was one of the worst days I ever had. I mean just being stuffed up in a closet staring at nothing but a light bulb in front of you. I know it's a bit embarrassing but after that day I became scared of light bulbs. Ah! So I had one thing in mind. Revenge. But I'll save that story for another day. Okay, so I'm filming at night right now, and there's two really hot lamps right next to me, and I'm getting scorched. And the camera is all green when I turn it off. So I guess I'm just going to leave it here for tonight. So I'll see you all next time. Peace out.